Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Revolution. This is episode 13 of our Let's Play. If you missed episode 1, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner for you. Highly recommend that episode, I feel like it's really good for beginners especially. But we are going straight into a battle, and right now, if you comment down below and guess where this battle is located, and you guess right, well you won't win anything, but you'll get a heart and a thumbs up from me, and uh, it'll just be uh, funny because I'm pretty sure you can guess where this battle is located. Anyways, the British have sent three regiments our way. We have four regiments available to us, and some of our regiments are a little bit beefed up. I traded out some. We have two of these guard units, which are pretty cool looking, if I do say so myself, with their sort of like powder blue uniforms. They kind of actually... Now I think about it, they kind of look like the Los Angeles Chargers, so I kind of don't like them as much anymore. But uh, nonetheless, they're supposed to be more elite infantry than what we're used to, but we shall put that to the test. Of course, um, our line is not perfect by any means. Are those grenadiers? Those look like grenadiers over there. Uh, one thing I would really like in this game, you see how like the skirmishers have their own little... Uh, what would you call it? Like avatar flag or flag icon? I would love if different units like grenadiers, guards for example, had different symbols above their unit so it's a lot easier to identify them. I think that would be a really cool feature. I would, I would really, really enjoy seeing something like that. We are going to shift a couple more units around to just make sure that we have everything in place um, because the British look like they're Kind of moving out to our flank. I haven't put anybody on hold. That's a mistake on my part. These guys should should be on hold. Uh, British are just kind of doing their normal thing where they're attacking piecemeal. Would really like the AI to to be a little bit more intelligent in that regard. There are three regiments, but one regiment is obviously further ahead than the others. I would like the British to to be a little bit more. Uh, passive, I guess, would be the, the, the right way to phrase that. In in the sense that I would like them to group up before attacking. Or, you know, I don't know, make me attack you. Although, they're the ones who kind of instigated this battle, so technically they should be the aggressor. But I, I would definitely love for the AI to, to force the player to, to go on the offensive. I, I think that would be a really really big bonus to the game if they could implement that. So let's just make sure our forces move forward. Let's get them in proper position. Press hold. For those of you that don't know what hold does, hold has the front rank kneel and in game it gives you a 15% cover bonus. A little bit odd but uh, you can see here like 15% cover versus 0% cover. Hold immediately goes to 15% cover so that's basically what hold does. It is a useful tool, just your units won't rotate correctly to face the enemy in a, a proper fashion if you press the hold button. So that is something to always keep in mind. Um, but over here, looks like we're doing pretty well in the center. Also doing okay, not not great. Um, I told you guys to retreat, so I took a step forward. Those grenadiers are actually... Uh, doing a, quite a number on us, actually. That's that's pretty nasty over there. And then we have some skirmishers over here. We'll probably end up charging those skirmishers. But this should be a, a, a fairly easy battle when it's all said and done. So let's, let's just move you guys like that. Let's have you all sort of move over. I think most of our men, uh, actually it should show, you, show us what our weapons are. We have mostly brown besses, and I think the ones that don't have brown besses... Nope, I think everybody has brown besses. The British have been very, very kind in donating their weapons from their slain soldiers to us, so we have quite a nice stockpile of brown besses. Now, why on earth would you turn in that direction? I think that's, that's a case of I probably didn't have them on hold. And then they, oh, somebody, I don't know where that, oh, he came back. 
I just saw a, a, a unit enter. See, I'm, I'm actually slamming the, the spacebar button right now, and this unit refuses to hold, which is rather interesting. Um, so we're just going to get that unit out of there and bring the guards in. Why not? Because this unit is clearly not... Something's wrong with it. Either they just don't want to listen to me, which is, you know, happens quite often in life. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with people not listening to me. But, oh, they've taken some casualties there. But uh, let, let's move the guards in, put them on hold. I don't know why this gun is angled like that. That kind of bugs me. There's some artillery over there. I would like to, to move up and charge that. I think that is a very tasty target right there. So we're going to press the advantage right there because it's not deployed. Now those skirmishers don't know what the heck they're doing. I do have cavalry somewhere. Hopefully we can get into melee before those guys uh, deploy their guns, which it looks like that was a mistake by the AI. Um, kind of bring their, their artillery forward and not really protecting it with their infantry. So that's, that's a big, big win in that regard. Let's bring you over. Let's bring you back. Somebody surrendered over there. And then, of course, another second lieutenant is killed because all of our second lieutenants get killed. They are just not doing very well. There's more. Oh, they didn't. How did they come back? That's interesting. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. You two will combine. Oh, boy. What is this? Uh... Skirmishers on our flank. How are those guys not surrendered yet? That's a little crazy. And then move you over. Move you over. Actually, you two combine. You're now friends over here. I would like you to be friends. And then this artillery get back over here. And we have a little bit of a weird situation, to be honest, over there. There's another surrender. Or no, that was a shatter. You need to hold, and then over here, you'll just be a reserve. Yeah, we've taken taken decent casualties here and there. I wonder I wonder if we can actually capture those guys. That would be that would be great. And by capture I mean melee them. There are some skirmishers over here, and I have no idea where they, they went to. So we'll just have to worry about them. Um, yeah, that's, uh, not, not good by any, any stretch of the imagination. That's, that's, uh, see if we can uh, get a volley off on those guys. Skirmishers are really hard to chase down. That is definitely, definitely a problem we face quite often. Let's have you guys fall back, and then you guys can move your line just a little. And then over here, I think... We could honestly move these guns up a little. We could move you guys up a little, like so. And then move these grenadiers. And then out over here. And there we go. The British are surrendering, so let's try and... Well, not surrendering. They are routing. So let's see what we can do. Let's have you, go, you all stop firing. Okay, grabbed them, perfect. I don't know about anybody over there. See if they'll go. See if uh, they'll go over here. And then just more stuff in the distance. So we'll just continue moving out. We'll put it on a little bit of a fast forward. And that's probably all we'll get. Maybe, maybe a couple more surrenders. Actually, that was pretty good. That was pretty good over there. And then you guys continue your chase. Okay, we got quite a few of them to surrender. 341 men, um, but quite a few regiments right there. So they lost a large portion of their army. We took 226 casualties. Not too shabby. Just take a quick peek at some efficiency. Gannon's doing a lot. And then I don't know who that is. On a side note, um, this guy's name. This, this definitely brings out my inner child. Yep, absolutely. So those of you that guessed Portsmouth, you are absolutely correct, and I have no idea how you could have ever guessed that. Absolute legends for guessing that one correct. But uh, yeah, I don't know. The British, 
The British are really in love with attacking Portsmouth this playthrough. It's pretty crazy. Um, I, I would really like them to push with a stronger force. They keep sending these little three three man regiments or three three regiments for an entire attack force, and I don't think that is the way to go. So I did trade out some forces. I should move that cavalry up. So our, our two two other fusiliers they're resting in Boston. We have two new uh, militia, both with skirmishers in Salem. They have. U.S. muskets, if I recall. And then we have this cavalry regiment, so they have the short brown vest 69s because we can't make the 57s or whatever they're called yet, the, the better version. So then these guys, they'll they'll now be, you know, in, in Portsmouth for the time being. Over here, ooh, Fort St. Chambly got even more men. That's a, that's a lot of men at Fort St. Chambly. Holy cow, that is a, a massive amount of men. As far as our fleet, it's nearly ready. I would like to like to send it out because the British are, you know, back at it outside of Newport, and I would really like to smash them. For Burlington, I would like to take Burlington, and we've start, sort of moved up some, some men, and then Fort Ticonderoga and Fort Frederick. I think there's another unit heading that way. There it is, game. He's going to Fort Frederick. And then we'll have a large militia force to attack Hubbard or Burlington. And then I, we probably won't take this. I mean, taking Montreal is open, but Fort St. Chambly, they're more than welcome to keep 4,700 men in that fort if they want. Uh, I, I don't want the fort. The only thing I would necessarily want is like grab... Montreal and grab Quebec just for the the bonuses, but there's no negatives for taking them And we're not really in a situation where we absolutely need those bonuses So let's just make sure that oh, I don't have it on it's not moving it. I paused it my fault there I was hoping while I was talking that things would actually move on so what we'll probably do is move the forces from Hubbardton and from Fort Frederick so there'll be three militia over to Burlington if the British attack out of that um i mean we're not in the greatest position but if they attack fort st john i feel good i feel pretty good because we have four artillery another sabotage event sabotage events happen all the time just to show you i am on tier one of intelligence costs obviously i could go up to tier two but that costs an arm and a leg uh, it's pretty brutal how much tier two costs they just shifted out some men so where is Bargus the Zero? That is his official name, Bargus Zero. <laughs> um, where where is he going? I don't know. Can Arnold get across? That looks like he can. I think he can. I think I know he can get across right over here. So that just became a little bit more difficult. We should probably take that sooner than later. I'm, I'm to the point now where I would actually like some some regulars over there uh, as opposed to just militia that is a lot more forces than i was expecting so we might take all of all of these men and send them out i'm not entirely sure that is a thought um what do we have over there those are skirmishers those are not skirmishers the the groups have skirmishers have 500 men yeah 1468 regulars that's um that's a hefty amount of regulars so i feel like i feel like we need four regiments to take on burlington as opposed to, uh as opposed to what we have right now so i might uh, we don't really have any officers we could move these guys up they are not doing anything at the moment so henry knox is the commander of those troops let's move him up to Fort Frederick and then I think that'll be a better attack force so hopefully hopefully he will do that no line that's that's a little bit weird and then as far as our infrastructure we're still building up I do want to look over here they're all built up for the most part so I would like probably a stable and at Fort Frederick uh a stable too and that'll be good I'm making use of an officer here he is giving us 2.18 construction points. Zebulon Baker. What a name, Zebulon. That's a 
It's a pretty interesting meme. And then we are continuing to build up our infrastructure. Otherwise, we must accept these gifts. Sure. Thanks, France. I, you know, I would really like France to, you know, come and deal with this annoying, pesky British threat over here. Uh, we know they have a general up at Fort St. George. I'm not really sure who that general is. And then over here, of course, we have this huge amount of men at Fort St. Chambly in Burlington. Just to show off that I am really do have a case when I complain about the sabotage events. That's two sabotage events in less than a week that have hit my government efficiency. Uh, and I have pointed out I'm on intelligence level one. So on the Discord, I've kind of been... um. I, I don't know. I, I won't get into it too much, but <laughs> I, I feel like the sabotage events are a little over the top, and I have had level 2 intelligence, I've had level 1 intelligence, and the sabotage events just continue to pile on. Um, and then level 2 is just such an insane expense. It goes up to like 5,000 per month or whatever. It, it is absolutely absurd, and I still lose forts. I still have government deficiencies i still have officers that get killed so i'm not really sure what to say about the sabotage events i i think they are not very well balanced or implemented at the moment and i think they could be a lot more fun instead of just being a mechanic because it is a mechanic but i was going to build what was i going to build i was going to look over here um somebody said yeah 100 plus these uh, i would really like that mine though in kingston um, I forgot about that when I started building it. Lester taking along. These these infrastructure, they take a really, really long time to build up. So um, I, I definitely need to think about that. Factories, let's put this factory. It should go somewhere over here. Now, I thought logistics, if I built up logistics over here, that it increased the amount of slots available. So I'm going to try it again. It didn't in Hartford, but maybe I just need to build up the whole region. Maybe that's the thing. I'm not sure, but I, I really did think that logistics uh, increased the amount of slots. And by slots, I mean when you go into the construction management and you click on like factory, it says five out of five. I've had it before where it goes up to eight, and I, I thought that was from logistics, but in this playthrough, it's not going up uh, past five. So I'm not really sure. Uh, if I was wrong previously in that logistics increase set. Right now I'm just kind of looking where I could, you know, increase some of my cities. Uh, looking for places that, like right here, that's, uh, oh, that's up this blacksmith. So that's another production factory over there. And that's basically, uh, that's a lot of my money. We need to start capturing ships or something again. Oh boy. There are a lot of Brits over here. Really need a uh, USS Carolina to fix itself. Four days. That is really unfortunate. I would like you to fix up a little bit quicker, but um, to be fair, the speed at which ships fix up is probably fine. Uh, it takes a really long to really long time to repair a ship. I just don't like the the permanent damage that ships have. So we're just kind of waiting for this unit to move up and. Once I feel like we have a good attack on Burlington, I'll probably do something there. May 4th, 1776, another sea invasion is happening. Uh, going to Castine, which is perfect. Um, it's probably another... Let's see, 4,400? Where is this fleet? I don't know. I can't see. Oh, 7,000 7, and some change. So there's probably some cavalry in there. I get 240 cavalry plus the 50 of the... The commander so that makes that a uh, weird number of 7090 so so within a month and about three days we've had two fairly sizable invasions but I, i've stated this before i i don't really want to go past portsmouth because if i give them falmouth fort george fort frank castine more likely that the british will invade up here as opposed to down here it's also easier for me to move my troops along this small coast as opposed to elsewhere. We are going to send our fleet out and we are going to go look for some red coats in the in the water and then I think those guys just left. Yep, okay. So hopefully the British flee in terror from our amazing Navy uh, America, USS America. That is the, the thing there. Okay, what was I doing over here? Probably going down 
the rifle tree, I, I guess. I'm not entirely sold on the rifles, but they're really good on skirmishers, and I would eventually like some skirmishers. Over here, though, I would like all of you to leave here, you to leave here. Was that... Oh no, we need... And then we need this, uh, this thing to come down. And then you guys to go over here. You guys brigade up. And then over here, I need you looking for enemy ships. There we go. So we'll just let that play out. We'll, we'll grind some rep over there. And then you guys need to continue moving. Like so, Von Steuben, you'll get your first command of the war. And then hopefully that supply wagon can get there in time. Let's take a look at production over there. I feel like I lost a, a factory there. That, that kind of looked like that that happened. I wish it wouldn't stop when you draw the line. Okay, over here I need to... Looks like that sea area is good. So we probably sink all of those British ships. Our fleet is looking really, really good. I don't want to give them horses. Oh, man. I guess I could give you four horses. I, there's probably like no problem with tensions rising. I just want to play it properly. Uh, oh, six textiles. That's that's always nice. That like what what would make the most sense? And it's like, well, I don't want to anger the natives. Um, even though the the Americans were really good at angering the natives. So let's let's move this ragtag force. For no 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's weird how you can draw the line across. And, and your your guys will go across the river, but if you just, like, click on the other side of the river, then your guys want to go all the way around and make it pretty complicated. This is a really weird deployment for our troops. We are on fast forward. Why is no, no battle happening? There we go. This is what I want. For some reason, they have reinforcements, and that's absolutely stupid, but whatever, we'll, we'll take this. We're not going to mess around with it. So here's the Battle of Burlington. Wow, they reinforced them pretty well, and they're completely cut off some uh, from the supply network. I, just to show you what I mean, um, oh man, I, I need it to pause. Uh, Burlington is not supplied by anything, so the fact that they, they were able to replenish their units, for some reason when I zoom in, it does a really weird buggy thing. For some reason, they were able to replenish their unit from pretty small to to pretty large. So that's that's rather strange. There we go. That's a little bit better. It's more advantageous for me for them to come on as reinforcements, but it's also dumb. I'm just gonna say it that way. Like I don't. It, it's a little gamey, cheesy. I I absolutely hate hate the strategic map level um, army organization and movement of troops on the strategic map. It's my absolute least favorite thing of the entire game, but um, I don't know if it'll change. Talking about things I don't like, uh, it's Q Bernie Sanders. I'm once again asking for deployment zone. I just think it's a mess. I, I mean, it's it's not the, the end of the world. I just think it's a little bit stupid to like deploy my supply wagons way off on this flank and my general way back here. When I was moving my army as an army, it's not my fault that the, the units like to drift on the strategic map. That's, uh, if you guys have played this game in any lengthy fashion, you know what I mean by units drifting on the, on the map. It's, uh, quite the feature. Um, so I like these, I, I like the, uh, I don't know what the PC terminology is, so don't butcher me, but I like the African American or, um, free slave units, uh, they're how they look in this game. I think that's a pretty cool, cool looking, uh, cool look for them. I think they look pretty snazzy, even though it's probably like very cheap garbs. <laughs> that would be my assumption. Seeing as the, oh, these guys are not in position. That is, that is my fault over there. Oops. Seeing as the Continental Army didn't really have a lot going for it in terms of, you know, supplies, all of all of that good stuff. So these cannons being a little bit little bit weird. Let's see if we can okay, there's some skirmishers out on that flank, so that's 
also good to know. Let's see, we have that piece over here. You guys are doing fine. Let's put you guys on hold. Move you guys up over here. I see skirmishers out on that flank. So that is duly noted. And then you guys will move out over here. Um, keep in mind, this is a lot of regulars versus an army that is kind of mostly militia. There, I do have some regulars in this army, but it is not like not like some of my others. Now, I I do have my men well armed, and so like the regulars have brown besses. I don't know why these cannons these cannons are in very strange positions to me. Not not a big fan of their positioning now. I know there's some skirmishers out in this flank, so we're just going to move these guys out over here for the time being. Move you guys up. And then as I noted, there were skirmishers over there. I don't really know where they are now, but they were over there. And then let's have these militia more over here. Let's have the guards over here. I don't like the... I, I like that units surrender more. I don't like that they do the surrender surrender flop like that that unit did it's a uh, kind of obnoxious to be honest this artillery is not in the position i want it to be in and i would really like th okay there's those skirmishers that we were talking about so that's good to know about um another officer wounded we just we take so many officer casualties it is it is pretty crazy. That seems to be our thing, is take those officer casualties. I'm moving them over there because I know there are skirmishers somewhere out there. I just don't know exactly where. Our guards probably need to move up soon. I probably need to... Oh, that's a lot of artillery. That is a lot of artillery. Okay. All right, guards, fill the hole. It is, it is your duty. Hole fillers. This is just ever since that uh, that episode, I <laughs> my my inner twelve year old has shined brightly. All right, I would like you guys to shoot over here. You shoot there, and then I need to figure out what to do about that artillery. Once again, we are we are just skirm um we are just militia for the most part. A couple regulars here and there, so I'm a little. A little nervous on some of this. I didn't put any of you on hold. Um, that was That is a mistake on my part. I did mean to put them on hold that time. There's those pesky skirmishers. There they are. So let's have you guys move out over here. Move you up. And then, I don't know. Let's have you guys get out of there. And then you'll become friends. That is your, your life goal. Make new friends. And then those skirmishers are going to obliterate us. What? That was not the hold I told you to do. And then they're not shooting at that unit, so that's like a weird, weird situation over here. Uh, it's not going exactly how I want it to go. That is for sure. We have a lot of three-pound galloper guns over here, and that's uh, definitely... Definitely an issue. I would like to move, continue to move forward with these guys. And then over here, figure out what we are doing. Okay, they're right in front of you. Please shoot them. I would love to charge into that, but those skirmishers are creating a nice screen for that artillery. And then over here, can we just have one of you charge forward? I don't... What are you guys doing? doing no 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 why 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 would you implement the crisscrossing into this game again that is so weird i i i do need these skirmishers to go away the skirmishers are really really powerful in the game now really powerful which i like i do like i just have to think about it okay over here i think this is going pretty well could we could we maybe angle you guys out that way? And then angle maybe move you guys up a little. And then over here, if we could have you all retreat. And then they just fired a volley, have you guys retreat a little. Um I did press the retreat button. I don't know why 
you didn't pay attention to the retreat button. Where is Von Steuben? It's a very cool name. He is a actual historical officer. I believe he is kind of uh, like responsible for the uh, making the army more professional. I guess is uh, the best way to say it. The, he's he's very very much attributed with the the training of the colonials. All right. I need you guys to not absolutely murder your own troops. Same with you over there. And then you two over here, don't murder your own troops. That is an order. And then we're just, we are chasing, chasing artillery. And then continue chasing, please. And then let's just go on fast forward mode. Okay, I'm pretty sure uh, you have no condition, that's fine. I would like you to continue moving up, though. That, that would be really nice. Yeah, no condition over here. So that is a problem trying to chase down the artillery. No condition whatsoever. But that artillery should break, should die. They did leave their 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 cannons behind. So that is good news over there. And we should get a volley off. I thought I had this on fast forward mode. I didn't. I apologize for that. And then continue spamming the charge button. There are some British over there that didn't get the memo that it's an all-out retreat, so they're just standing in a field. And then I, I would like you guys to continue chasing, though. That would be something that would be really nice, is if they continue chasing. Um, they do a lot of, a lot of stopping and then ceasing their order. I get that it's like... Their, their charge is gone because they don't have enough condition, but it's, it's a little wonky. I mean, it is something that they'll probably continue to work on until the game is, game is fully released. So we lost 348 men. Uh, I mean, our army was mostly militia. We did outnumber them quite a bit. Baron Von Steuben, you took a casualty there. Very interesting. As far as units that did well, Stephen Smith, and not the ESPN commentator Stephen Smith. Alright, see if we can get any of them to surrender, that would be pretty awesome. Doesn't really look like they'll surrender. Maybe. Uh, there's... those guys are not running away anymore, so we'll see. They are... Uh, doesn't look like they're surrendering, so we'll go back. We shall go back. Unfortunate. I figured they would have surrendered, but um, I guess we didn't cause enough casualties. Now they are retreating further. No, nope, they're going to Fort St. Chambly. Okay. So this is just going to be a standoff for a while. They absolutely outnumber us from here. And really, I just wanted Burlington. I would love to crush Fort St. Chambly because that is too large of a force on my border, but that's, that's whatever. 78 gunship. Oh, man. I would love to capture it, but we've nearly already destroyed it, and at this point, I kind of don't care. And capturing it would really mean that our ships take a bunch of damage, we have less crew, and we need to go to port. So I kind of just want to let that go through. Yeah, and we, we got all the reputation right there. So we've cleared out that area. Let's go clear, clear out the seas over here, and that's kind of just what the point of this snowball fleet is at the moment is to clear out the waters because they've been very, very obnoxious. Burlington, loyalty is pretty terrible. And then over here, Fort St. John's, this loyalty is never going to change, which is a mechanic I'm not a big fan of. I Somebody, um, I think it was Oddball in the Discord, he mentioned it would be cool if like forts just didn't have a loyalty. So it, it was just controlled by whoever controls it. And if you're not, um, not controlling it or garrisoning it, then it's like a neutral territory, which I, I thought that's kind of a cool, cool idea and basically how forts work, because it's not like you don't really have all of these people, like you wouldn't have a school at a fort. But that's just my, my thought process there. We are going to, while I remember it, and while we have tons of resources, um, just pump out Pump these things out. 5,400 men over there. That is a little ludicrous. How many men can Burlington have? Not many 
at all. So let's, uh, let's start moving men out of Burlington. I don't know if I really want the regulars there, but they, they would be pretty far away. Um, so I think, I think Knox, you no. know, that's, that's really weird how it does that. I think if you go back to, maybe you go, you go to Hubbardton and then who else do we have over here? You guys gain. I designed you guys to to go sit in Fort Frederick. Um, you know, we'll we'll let them do that. We'll see if that works. Now, I can technically house these guys here because I have the supply wagons. It looks like the supply wagon has an upgrade, but you can't upgrade a supply wagon. So that's a really really interestingly weird feature. What did we get? Whoa! I mean. There is a 78 gun ship in here, but we have a massive, yeah, 490 to 286. That'll be a good fleet to take out and just watch our rep. Our rep is skyrocketing. I don't know what our rep was before, um, before this, but our rep is just going into insano mode right now. We could grab like Morgan's riflemen. I think grabbing the skirmishers will be great. So let's let's just do that. And I, I like to keep our rep a little little more on the reasonable side. So let's have you guys continue going where you're going, Fort Lavelle. We suffer no, we do not suffer from a lack of ammunition. Skirmishers we just unlocked, which is perfect. So I don't really care about grenadiers. It'd be cool to upgrade some of the forts. So let's go down here. Maybe go down to a military base eventually. And then I think it would be cool to to grab some of these named regiments, new new generals, Horatio Gates, all of that. But this is probably not what we'll not where we will spend the rest of our reputation. We'll probably spend it in other places. The the rep grinding with ships becomes a little a little ludicrous. So I think we already destroyed. Uh, no, I don't think we've killed a ship yet, but. That should go in our favor. That that should go in our favor. 490 guns to their... It was like 200 something. So over here I could do some stuff. We have tons of construction materials now. It's actually quite insane. And I think we could probably do something like spam out some factories. Let's just put a factory in Middleborough. And let's do another factory in Boston. I think that'll be fantastic. That'll be um, probably a really, really good idea. We also need to uh, look into selling some stuff. So that is that is something we need to do. We also don't need short crown besses anymore. So that's that's kind of ease up on that production. What are we looking at for Virginia 76s? Are looking really good. Brown besses. We have tons of. I think I would like to pump out. Yeah, that, that looks fine. Actually, ammunition I think we need to go up on. I, I want to stay over 500 and we've been dipping dipping lower on ammunition. It's not really low at all, but I think if we did something like this, that would be that would be perfectly acceptable. We could also cut the amount of how many factories would that go down to? Because that would really help out our money. If we is that too low? That feels too low. Three, one. I would like four and four. So let's add another three. Is this is this where I want it? This this is kind of you know the balancing act of production there. I like that. That seems that seems good. We could do four Virginia muskets and then United States muskets. Something like that, or we could just start pumping out. The Virginia muskets. Probably just start pumping out Virginia muskets. That's the way to go. So over here, nothing important. Over here, I mean, we could start building ships and then selling them. I think these ships sell for like 18,000, but also doesn't sound that fantastic. Over here, what do we have for guns? We have so many mortars, and I'm not really sure I like the mortars. I, I like my canister shot. I think canister shot is absolutely wonderful. Napoleon used it to great use. 
in his time frame and he had wonderful words to say about it. It's just sell. We're just trying to get a bunch of money right now and we have tons of excess resources so might as well make use of that cocker. I think we could auto sell at 52. I think, I think 50 is a good, good number for that stuff. Probably 40 to be honest but well we'll keep it at 50 just to have a little buffer there so economy stabilized for the moment and we'll let this you know auto resolve go out we'll see oh that was it uh burlington i wanted to look at 0.1 construction points you're terrible why is new york so terrible i feel like oh and it's oh man and it's his own territory so this should be like one territory so that you can use an officer to boost the production of both as opposed to um 500 to bo boost the production of one that's uh that's my 25 cents although i feel like it's worth more than 25 cents hms nissau so this is where we could go and try and capture and i think we will i think that's try and capture hms nissau we could use USS Quicksilver, USS America, um, Indefatigable, and Washington should also have a chance here. So I, I think that is that is our plan of attack right here. Let's just watch how how much better their ship is at sailing. I guess I'm still against the wind, but they just did a crazy maneuver. Like how they're able to turn versus how we're able to turn is pretty crazy i understand this is a first rate but this is also a third rate and a third rate i mean it's doing a <laughs> that's like a a one wow yeah and then just turns like that the, the the wiggling is the problem i have the ai gets to wiggle its ships which causes a lot of a lot of issues i can't wiggle my ships i really wish i could wiggle because if i could wiggle right now we would be boarding All right, come on, come on, get the Ford. Wiggle better, and then it's probably faster than us in the wind. Wiggle better. That should be a board, that should be a board. Come on, come on. Maintain speed. All right, you go behind it. Where are you two? Over here. We just have to board. Come on. Feels like it takes forever nowadays for the big ships to board each other. Oh, it's boarding! Complain and you shall be rewarded. Nice. Um, we have way too many troops on our ship. Uh, that was like over a thousand on the first rate. Should be like 800. But, you know. Oh well. So there you have it, boys and girls, another third rate added to the fleet. Well, a second third rate. So we have first two thirds, two fourths, and then a bunch of fifths. Uh, absolute monster fleet at this moment. We're killing a merchant ship right there. We'll probably... Uh, I'd like to clear out a couple... Ooh, that's a big fleet, so I'm not entirely sure. 274. I wonder... Mm, this is risky. Let's take a take a take a peek at what is over here. I am searching for enemy ships. That the purpose of this was to grind rep, see if we could capture anything of meaning. This is this is just going to be a rep grind. I don't want to even fight and capture those, even though that would be good money. It's just in the in the actual battle, it's so hard to capture the ships because they they wiggle, the the deployment zones are terrible. Then so you, like your ships take too much damage. For my liking for capturing like these small itty bitty ships and then if you want to look at it historically um there were technically rules of engagement a third rate ship was not supposed to engage a lesser ship unless fired upon first of course the british will fire upon you but that's not you know the point here with that being said i'll probably do the rest of this cleanup in the sea off camera because it does become a little bit tedious would love to know what that seven seven ship fleet is but i think that'll be it for today's episode so just uh you know two nice quick battles and then a naval battle capturing a third rate hopefully you guys enjoyed this sorry for this episode coming out late just uh i've been a little bit you know down on recording 
sometimes you get a little bit burnt out recording and all of that. So I, I just wasn't feeling like recording stringently, but um, th this episode will come out a little bit late. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Please like, comment, subscribe. All of that YouTube jazz greatly helps out the channel. This is a pretty beefy fleet. Oh, that's the fleet that we already engaged before, but we'll do that off camera. We're at 66 reputation. We have gained so much reputation and captured a 78 uh, gunship. So the naval stuff is pretty busted if you get it rolling. Anyways, I will see you in the next episode. As always, guys, until next time.